Hello everybody. Now we're going to start a tutorial series on Streamlit. Don't know if you've heard of Streamlit before, but if you haven't, I'm just going to open it up. So it's pretty much a very new, I'll say it's a new um, library in Python, which is used for creating data products or dashboards. It's pretty cool because it's really easy to use. First thing with every project is you want to create, I'm using PyCharm, you want to create a virtual environment. So we'll go preferences, project interpreter, um, show all, add new environment. Okay, so it's creating a virtual environment for me. So now it's done, so we can say okay. So we have just peep and set up tools, which is fine. Okay, so next you can go add libraries here. Yeah, so first library we need, of course, is Streamlit. Okay, Streamlit. Let's select the version. I say 65.2, that should be fine. Try not to use the most recent version just in case there are going to be some breaking changes in there. This is fine. You can see even from the version number, the Streamlit app is very, very new. You can say that for sure. So let's just install this. So it's installing. Um, also, we want to install Seaborn. Seaborn. Let's go there, right? Okay. Install Seaborn as well. 10.1. Okay, so we can close this. And just say OK. Next, let's create a new requirements file. So, requirements.txt file where we can list our library. Okay, let's see. We want to add. Okay, so let's say C one two point ten point one. Okay, then stream lit zero point six five point two. I believe it was six five point two. Yes, it was six five point two. Cool. Let's just close this. So for the demonstration today, we're going to start with this data set. That's the auto MPG data set. It just shows. So what this data set shows is it shows, okay, the mileage per gallon for various performance cars. That's what it does, right? So just go ahead and you can come over here. I'm going to keep this link in the description. But the data set, you can just download this very small data set. Okay, we download it. Let me open. Okay, and I just get the CSV file out of it. Okay, and put this in the same part. So I put this. Add. Okay, so now what we do have here is we have this file right here, and we have our requirements of txt. Another thing we want to install is let's install Jupyter Lab. Yeah, I think that should be fine. <clears throat> let's install Jupyter Lab. So you can just play around with the data a little bit first. Okay, sorry. Jupyter Lab. 2.2.6. Yeah. 
that compare so let's just check the preferences look at so just by installing these three libraries seaborn streamlit we have all these other dependencies so you have pillow you have pandas you have numpy all of this so I, well at this point we're good to go i'm just going to wrap up this video here in the next video we're going to play around with the data sets in a notebook i will take it from there okay thank you and see you in the next one